Hello guys, welcome again to the another After Effects tutorial. Today I come up with a new After Effects tutorial. Name it a uh, Glass as uh, Effect Slideshow. So uh, if you didn't subscribe my channel till now, do subscribe my channel. And so let's get started. First of all guys, uh, this window will help you but I am typing and clicking. So after uh, opening After Effects take new composition of 9020 by 1080 name it main as usual and duration I think 5 seconds should be enough. Hit OK. Uh, take new composition name it image placeholder 1. Hit OK. Bring image from your computer to after effect and drag it into the image pillar solder one as you can uh, see that guys this uh, is not fit to our uh, screen so uh, simply hold ctrl alt shift plus h and now it will uh, adjust to your screen or you can see that uh, composition okay now go to the main composition and drag the image placeholder one into it okay take new uh, adjustment layer and uh, search magnify guys if you don't this uh, uh, if you don't see this option here effects and presets simply go to a uh, window and select the uh, effects and presets okay now search magnify and drop over the uh, adjustment layer okay now guys uh, we need to change the shape to scale and uh, here you can see the scale now increase its size to cover uh, the whole uh, composition yeah okay now uh, decrease its size of uh, adjustment layer okay let me tell you one thing that guys uh, the adjustment layer is just on like uh, you can say that uh, it's a frame or a lens on which you just uh, apply the effects and then you uh, see the image through it okay now we need to adjust its size like maybe here and search the fast blur or fast box blur apply it and increase its uh, blur radius like maybe 5 now we need to decrease its value to maybe one uh, yeah i think word one should be enough okay uh, now search again curves and apply over it set its position according to your image yeah cool Okay, now guys, uh, we need to rename it main layer. Hit OK. Make duplicate of this and uh, rename it H1. Okay, now select this and uh, go to tools panel and select the pen behind tool and uh, hit the snapping and change the anchor point to like this maybe okay select the selection tool and adjust its position like this yeah. search again the brightness and contrast and drag it over here over the edge one 
increase its uh, brightness like maybe uh, yep yeah, 150 okay now it's cool make duplicate of this edge one and now we need to decrease uh, we need to adjust its uh, anchor point first we will place it here and then we adjust its anchor point like this now adjust its position like maybe here yep okay now this time we will decrease the brightness into minus for uh for just the dark effect now guys we need to make duplicate of uh, uh of main layer just holding ctrl plus g and uh, this time we will search and apply over the main layer too and uh, now unmark the uh, adjustment layer to disable all the effects and delete all the effects except the uh, gradient frame okay now uh, select the uh, main layer to hit T for opacity and decrease its opacity like maybe uh, 15 I think should be better or maybe 20 yep I think 25 yep I think 25 should be enough okay select all the adjustment layer and pre-compose it uh, uh, before doing this uh, guys uh, check the test rise for the adjustment layer and now select all the adjustment layer and pre-compose it Name it glass one hit ok and now we need to make duplicate of this six time or maybe five times one two three four five Okay, now let's try the all glasses. Now, guys, we need to uh, rotate. Select all the glass. Hit R for rotation, and uh, and set its rotation to sixty degree. Yeah. Now, guys, we need to change uh, their position. Okay, now select the glass one. For and change its position like maybe here increase its size like this okay drag it over here okay select the second glass and change its position like here maybe Yeah. Or here. Okay. Change the uh, or select the third one and change its position as it is. Like this maybe. Okay. Now. Do the same with the other classes. Now guys, uh, we have adjust the position of all glasses. Now select all the glasses by holding control and hit P for position. Okay, now guys, uh, add keyframe here for position on zero frame. Move forward in time by uh, maybe five seconds and change their value. First like these glass and change their values to like 
maybe here. Okay, now, now guys, uh, we need to change the position of uh, these three glasses. Select these th three three glasses and uh, drag to change their positions. Uh, guys, now we need to make uh, scatter them. First, we select the glass three and change its position, like maybe here. Okay, now hit zero for rendering, and let's see. It's looking cool guys. Now we need to select all these keyframes and is is them. Okay, now guys, uh, we need to go to uh, graph editor and change its motion. Uh, motion. So uh, if you do, don't see this uh, graph like this, simply right click on it and uh, select the edit uh, speed graph. Okay, now select all these layer and uh, make the graph like this yep go okay let's see now guys it's looking cool uh, we need to uh, add scale for the image simply select the image placeholder hit s for scale add keyframe on zero frame go uh, on five second and increase its scale like maybe maybe one 15 hit enter select both these keyframes And is is them. Put it to add solid. Close all the properties, and now uh, we need to add solid. Select black color for it. Hit OK, and place it over the image placeholder one. And now, uh, now guys, go to the toggle switches and uh, for image track mat go into the track mat and set the alpha mat for image placeholder one and now uh, <coughs> hold shift key and make parent link from solid black solid to glass one okay now guys uh, select the glass one hit p for position and now we need to uh, adjust this position now when uh, we move forward in time by 5 seconds its position like maybe first we need to uh, increase its size select the black solid and increase its height like this ok now uh, change its position Okay, now uh, go back to the uh, zero frame and let's see. Hit zero for rendering. Uh, guys, as you can see, that uh, these three uh, glasses, uh, upper three glasses, it uh, appears on the black screen. Now we need to adjust them. By dragging their position of layer, like maybe here. Okay, let's see again. Now we need 
to adjust them all uh, for a second. Now let's see again. Now guys, uh, it's looking cool. Uh, move forward this uh, on fifth second and change its position like maybe yes guys it's looking cool now we have done this hope you enjoy the tutorial if you feel any problem you can ask me in comment section below so uh, bye for the next video thanks